What is going on Airsofters? I am your host, the Spinkster Cell. In this video we're going to take a brief look at a friend of a friend's gun. This gun has been partially customized and as you can tell is a Tokyo Marie High Kappa 4.3. So let's take a look at the gun. I believe this was purchased brand new. We still have all of the stuff in here, you know, the Tokyo Marui stuff you can come to expect if you were to purchase this gun brand new. So yep, yeah, it's 4.3 and here it is. So this is a custom 4.3. As you can see we have the golden slide, trigger, and outer barrel. Very nice, very cool. So the slide on this is going to be a LA Cat custom slide and outer barrel. It's a very nice looking gun. It's uh, very heavy too. You know it's the 4.3 so it's slightly shorter than the 5.1 from Marui which is what we just finished building, the Swag Kappa. So this gun has been customized by the owner, and there's just a few slight differences between it and the 5.1. You can see that our dust cover rail goes all the way to the tip of the slide, and we do have a shorter style. We also have a smaller thumb safety here that is only available on one side and is not ambidextrous, and so that is our functioning safety on 4.3. As you can see, it was a little hard for me to engage it. Maybe it's just never been engaged before, but it's uh, just a little stiff. So that's the gun. It is short stroked, so it won't lock back on empty. And then we can pull it back here. We can see this is LA Kappa Custom right in there. And yeah, so that is the gun. It uh, has an enhanced spring in there, so it is very hard to pull back, or not very hard, but it's a little tougher than a stock Murphy spring. So the fitment on this is pretty much perfect. There's no rattling almost at all with this gun so yeah that's the pistol it does not have a front sight at the moment i don't think it ever will and you can see that the outer barrel is threaded and i believe that the owner of this gun has a bifrost as well so they can use it at our preferred indoor field dreadnought so here's a look at the trigger i'm not exactly sure the name of the trigger if i can get them all i will just clip that in the video it's very nice and very comfortable and serrated. It does have the adjustment screw for over travel, so that is nice. Yeah, that's an example of a golden LA Kappa custom high Kappa in the 4.3 size. I have this gun for now because I've been asked to check it and make sure it's fully functional. Fully functioning because um, the slide is very, very stiff. And if you slowly do it, you can see it just doesn't go into battery all the way. So. I uh, test shot the gun and let's see, is it completely empty here? Yep. So it does still fire and function and all that. It's not going to lock back, obviously, but um, it just needs a little bit of TLC. I think it just needs a break in period before it's perfect, but the owner of the gun says that it could be a little better. So we're going to take it in the backyard and do a lot of testing with it, see if we can make it shoot perfectly. And yeah, that's the gun. There's a. Look at the inside here, looks like we have a uh, Maple Leaf hop-up hop bucking, which is what I prefer, I put it in my L85, so that's what's in the gun. Looks like we have some more spacers for the short stroke, but we don't have all of them in there. And yeah, it's uh, brand new from Marui. I don't believe this pistol's even been used in game yet, so we're gonna take it in the backyard and do some shooting with it. So we have the custom 4.1 here. We're gonna do some test shots with it. Now I don't have my propane here, so if we run out, I still have the swag kippers. Probably got enough gas in that mag to finish. So let's try it out. This is a short stroke gun. Yeah, it seems like it's a little underpowered with the way it's shooting. I do have like 0.12 grams in there, but even then they shouldn't be like dropping straight like that. So I'm gonna adjust the hop up and put in the 5.1 magazine with more gas hopefully, and uh, we can see what we can do. But it is getting the BBs out there, so I'm not exactly sure what more we need to do to this gun. It's fully lubed. It's going in the battery after every shot, so. Yeah, we'll go grab the other magazine and continue testing. Here we are with the 5.1 magazine. As you can see, it just pokes out a little bit from the 4.1 here. But uh, we got 0.25 gram BBs in the gun. 
and uh, I turn the hop up on to the max setting so let's see what kind of results we get now So I'm noticing that this gun is super duper snappy with the results of the short stroke kit, but the recoil is a lot lower than my newly built Swag Kappa, which is also an LE Cat um, custom slide, but this one just seems to be more fit tighter and all that. Maybe that's due to the uh, spring and all, but it's very snappy, but lower recoil. So you have it, that is a short stroke 4.1, pretty snappy, um, it's pretty cool. I prefer the recoil of my swag cap and the way that that shoots, I just enjoy the gun overall. But that is a look at this gun, um, in my opinion it's fully functional, it shot all those rounds and most of them are pretty accurate. Some of them weren't as accurate but it's really windy out here and this is going to be a CQB primary weapon anyway. So yeah, that's the gun. Looking pretty nice.